Rocket 4 Plus directly on a PCIe slot. Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with the latest Sabrent SSD enclosure, which is really awesome. This is the Rugged Thunderbolt 3 2 NVMe M.2 SSD tool free dual enclosure, which is a long name for such a small an elegant really cool SSD enclosure. Now before we talk about this and speed tests and whatnot let me just remind you of one of my favorite SSD enclosures from Sabrent which is also one of the oldest ones that I've tested here on the channel. I will leave some links right over here which are very interesting and I will cover everything that I've got here on my desk and I will also leave some links down below so that you guys can check the prices. But this one right over here is a USB 3.2, it's not a Thunderbolt 3 device, really elegant, build quality wise just awesome and the price the last time I checked was 40 euros or 40 US dollars. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out and although it's not Thunderbolt 3 and completely out of the topic it's just amazing and very elegant. As you can see this is a massive block of aluminium table and you will get 1000 megabytes per second reads and writes but if you want more info right over here now i just want to share with you that we also have reviewed this unit this is a different unit plastic on the bottom brushed aluminium on the top with a really nice and elegant system and recently this dual enclosure right over here this says the clone function if you recall i will try to leave i don't know if there's room for enough links here on the top but a clone function and really great build quality as well with heat dissipation small fan and so on and so forth really really nice and today thunderbolt 3 rugged version so inside the package we will find besides the main unit we will also find this rugged cover right over here which actually it's really nice because this is so nice so well built that i would hate to make a scratch right over here so it's great to have a protection that of course it is optional to use or not i do believe that it looks awesome and when you put in top on top of the table or something like that it will be protected although it has these four rubber feet if you don't want to use it it will grab to any surface but with the right great now we also will find a thunderbolt 3 cable included a user guide some thermal pads which i'll show you in just a few moments and also a power adapter and basically that is it now before we go to speed test which is awesome let me open it up right over here it's really elegant and as you can see just slide this it's so awesome slide it and and put it up and <laughs> there's something serious inside here something really serious something really wrong in my opinion but we've got right over here two sabrent rocket 4 plus and what is wrong is that each one of these are the fastest one available on the planet i will leave the link right over here and they will give us 7000 megabytes per second reads and on writes when used on a pci generation 4 slot and we have done that on a windows computer right over here so you can check that out and honestly if you are not doing tests speed tests like i am i would not suggest to use these right over here i would suggest strongly to use these if you are assembling a computer and you want the best ssd the fastest ssd then this is it but for external enclosure i would go for something else for example you could go for a rocket q which is slower it's only 3500 megabytes per second reads and on writes so it's slower actually probably they don't have slower than 3500 megabytes but if you get one of these it will be more than fine and you will save some money if you are using an external drive now i would say the rocket q4 but this one is about 5000 or 6000 megabytes i can't recall that is the video right over there so now to assemble the ssds it's really easy as you saw i just took the cover right over here and then we have these rub grommets right over here that will help us to secure the ssd without the need to use any screws or anything like that now the thermal pads might be useful for example if you are going to use an ssd that you are constantly writing and reading from and if you feel that it gets warm then you can put a thermal pad and this will help to make a direct contact with the enclosure and this will act as a dissipator now it will act anyway even if you don't put the thermal pads but the thermal pad will just make a stronger contact between the ssd and the brushed aluminium enclosure which is just awesome this is really heavy i think youtube should get a tool that we could put it right over there and you could just feel it and say hey 
this is awesome and worth the price that it's asked. Now, once we are happy with the SSD that we have inside, we can use it in two ways. One of which is single disk, and we can use one to edit videos and the other one to save your videos. And in that particular case, you will get a maximum of 1,500 megabytes on each disk. This will be the limit that we will have on a single disk through Thunderbolt 3. Now, if we do a RAID 0, which honestly I wouldn't advise unless in certain specific tasks. But if you insist, and if you want to go RAID 0, then you will get a maximum of 2,500 megabytes per second on reads and on writes, which is just awesome and great. But once again, the Rocket 4 Plus gives us a output of 7,000 megabytes per second. So I, I would love that right here could give us 14,000 megabytes per second. Until then, we will have to dream on and keep on using what technology offers the best right over here. And in my opinion, in terms of Thunderbolt 3, this is one of the best enclosures in the market. And this is it. Now, if you ask my feedback, in my opinion, over the years, I've been using Sabrent devices on my video editing needs, motion graphics and video editing, either on mobile needs when I take my laptop and I need to edit off-site and then I have either one of these solutions so this one right over here or on my Mac mini for example where I did share with you guys one eight terabytes and I, I am sure that I don't have more links to put right over here so I'll leave some links down below and you can check out some of my workflow the way that I use and that is it guys hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one